Hi YouTube, this is Noise59 with my new tutorial. I'm going to be helping you. This is for Pro Tool users 7 and up. Um, this is for the people that received the error message negative 6086, and this means you're having problems recording and, and you cannot record, of course. And um, I'm going to teach you a little tweak you can do to your PC. This is for PC users, okay? Um, it's a little tweak and it, it might be able to help you get rid of that error, okay? And I'll be showing you here step by step and I want you to follow every step. Okay, first of all, you open Pro Tools session and it could be a new session or a pre-recorded. And this is what happens when you try to record when you're having this error. Okay, it's going to give you error detected. You're going to try to record again. It's going to give you the same error. If you guys are having this error, I might be able to help you with this. See, this is the error. If you get this error, I might be able to help you. Okay, now, um, when I first received this error, I didn't know what to do. I went to DigiDesign, and I could not find an answer. So this is what I did. Follow the steps now. You right click on your desktop, you go to properties, okay, click on properties, okay, and now you're going to go to settings, yes, settings, and advance, and screw the, okay, now you're going to go to troubleshoot, troubleshoot, and just do what I do, exactly, just like that. And now try recording now in Pro Tools and it, it should work. If not, um, I'll keep looking for answers. And screw this accent. I'm not even like... Yeah, so yeah, just do like, do what I said, alright? Um, that should be able to help you. Like I said, I was having this problem um, before. But make sure that your, your PC fits the minimum requirements for this software for our program, Pro Tools, you know? I'm running my PC with 3 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, the processor is not really fast or a new one. It's kind of old. I bought my PC like two years ago. I believe it runs with 2.2 gigahertz. I'm not really sure, but yeah, when I first bought it, it, the recording was perfect. Then I updated my Pro Tools to 7.3.1 CS7, and that's when, when I started having the problems, you know. Now I was getting kind of mad, frustrated. I was like, "Well, wow, I can't believe this. I'm gonna have to buy a Mac or something, you know." I was like really mad. Then I searched on DigiDesign, find no answer. I found no answer. So hope this helps you out. See you guys.